Hi. Here, let me uh, turn the phone for a second so I can say hi to you all. My name is Sheila Dunyu. I'm founder of Vero. We go around the world seeking out um, interesting, delicious wines and olive oils from farmers who are, who are also producers of the wines and olive oil. And today I'm in uh, Valdo Biadene. Uh, afterwards, uh, there'll be a test to see if you can say that yourself. <laughs> Valdo Biadene. It's one of the um, the areas that are known for um, for like really really good prosecco. And um, and I'm here today with uh, with Fabio. Hi. <laughs> Fabio Sanzovo. And uh, this is his home. Um, and we're standing in one of his his vineyards. And, um, and this is all uh, Glara, uh, Glara Vineyard. So Glara is the, um, is the grape that's used to, uh, to make Prosecco. And um, <clears throat> so you can see this is, this is what it looks like. Um, and uh, we have Carlo too, who's hiding behind me. Here's Hi. Carlo, Carlo Sa- Sanzovo. Um, so Car- Carlo and Fabio are brothers and they, um, they, uh, make, uh, really, really good Prosecco. So, uh, their wines, um, we're importing in, they're actually in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean somewhere, <laughs> uh, hopefully, uh, doing well. Uh, so, uh, so that way in about a month's time, you'll be able to, uh, to taste, uh, taste their Prosecco, um, yourself. And so I just wanted to show you a little bit about wh- where we are. Um, so we're in, in northern Italy and uh, in this gorgeous place here. This is uh, Bigolino is the name of the town that you see uh, ahead. And then as I turn my camera north, you see the mountains. So we're just, um, just south of the Alps. Um, and it's just it's like a cooler temp climate here and um and so it, it's a, a climate that that would be good for making making prosecco um right because it's if it's cooler then the uh the grapes have can maintain their acidity and then you want that acidity in you know in all wines but especially in sparkling wines right yes <laughs> So, um, so if you, if you listen, um, you'll, you'll hear, hear something, um, um, cause I'm going to stop talking for a second. I don't know, um, you probably didn't hear it yet, but in the background we're hearing, um, do you guys hear that? It sounded like an explosion. But what it actually um, is, are there are these cannons, like this one here. That one there. And um, they, are, they are cannons. Oh my God, it just went off. You guys hear that? That cannon just went off. Whew. And these and these are cannons that are um, are countering the uh, the threat of um, uh, of oh shoot I forgot the word the word in uh, in English granite uh, hail thank you Carl. <laughs> Your English is better than I am. So, so um, hail is a real threat to um, uh, to g- grapes as they're you know growing. Um, and so, what um, what these cannons are doing is they're um, they're actually forcing some hotter air. Hot, hotter air into um, into the atmosphere, 
so that way it will uh, it will prevent um, it will prevent the possibility of, of hail happening. So I've never seen this before. Has any of you guys seen it? <laughs> so, and this was unplanned, but um, yeah. So listen, uh, we we're having an exciting time here. <laughs> <laughs> and if there's even a, a rainbow that's right behind uh, Fa Fabio uh, there, a little bit of a rainbow. So, um, so in any case, uh, we'll uh, we'll hope that there's no you know no hail that comes here. Um, and um, and Fa Fabio and, and Carlo, you're gonna start. You're going to start the harvest uh, in the middle of September, right? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, so we'll be looking forward to your, your, your next vintage, but we'll especially be looking forward to the wines that we'll be getting, we'll be getting in, in about a month's time. So, All right, you guys. So this is where Prosecco comes from. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye. 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 Uh, and you and you can see the the cannon has the um you can see like this sort of hot air that's coming out of the cannon. It's incredible. So let's see. And now 